Mini expansion is coming out very soon. This is a rapid fire review of all of the cards and buffs. Let's go. Elf Queen of Abundant Life. This is a staple card. 323 Ward draw card, already good. And then the Evolve just is great board control. Absolutely three of. Windfall Fay, it's all right as card draw, but what puts me off it is that it's a little bit heavy on the cost up front, so I think it's only okay. Amelia, the Silver Flash, absolutely fantastic. It's draw, it's Evolve. It's synergy with other cards like Gelt, just a great card standalone and definitely has a home in a lot of sword decks. Lady of the Lance, potentially very good, can also work with Amelia. Just having a rush that can take no damage is great for taking the board. And then on Enhance 8, getting Storm lets you combo it with King's Might for additional damage. And recovering the 5 play points helps with that as well getting the King's Might out of Balian. Ulaine, Grand Magus, fantastic in both Earthrite and Natura Rune. I mean, particularly the third effect here of dealing three damage to all enemies is fantastic. Formbender, pretty good tech, being able to transform something without any conditions really, and on a solid body for three as well. I think way more valuable in Arena than in Rotation, but in Rotation, still just a solid tool you can slot in in case any amulet strategies are a little too tough for you to deal with otherwise as runecraft. Being a spell boost card means you don't whiff with Daria if you use this as well. And defensively, the Eldritch Chimera can also be useful in some circumstances. Jerva! My first thought was that this is a meme, but it's actually not bad because the Evolve effect lets you clear the board a little bit as well. So if you just play this, like you ramp into this, you play it, you evolve it, it's a solid body with ward that also can clear the board so that this effect becomes even better, so you can potentially just deal the damage to face or the damage to a bigger follower after this effect takes care of the smaller followers. So yeah, pretty good actually. Steel Cap, Pachycephalosaurus, absolutely insane card. Amazing in Evolve Dragon, being able to evolve for zero. And even outside of Evolve Dragon, just this evolve effect alone is fantastic by itself. You don't necessarily need to evolve it for free. Dealing two damage to an enemy follower and to the enemy leader with full stats, and it's a 2-2-2. Fantastic. Nightmare Devourer, a little bit heavy on the Shadows cost, but I think it's great being able to have a card to deal with the boards in the mid game, and very importantly as well, because it's last words, it powers Toth. The last words being random is a bit of a bummer, but they are pretty good effects. I think, yeah, this can see play. Sarcophagus Wraith, insane card. Fabled Treasure lets you draw two cards, restore two defense to your leader, and gain two shadows on a three play point one two. It's just amazing. And then, of course, the additional value of being able to play this on Enhance 6 and get that Lich and Zombie. So, yeah, fantastic card. Ruin Web Spider. I think it's cool. I just think it's a little slow, and because the defensive measures don't necessarily work against cards like Riley, I'm worried that. It's not going to be that effective for the role that it's made to play. Although locking their board can be fun. And if you can get this out early enough, then I think it can be powerful as well. Ravening Corruption. This card is absolutely amazing. Fantastic stats. Fantastic fanfare. Fantastic persistent effect that helps you throughout the whole game. Garuda, Wings of Paradise. I'm very happy to see Garuda back. He is one of my favorite cards. This looks like the beginning of a new archetype or a comeback of Natura Havencraft. And frankly, I'm all for it. Sweet Wing Seraph, 222. It's all right. Helps with Natura Havencraft. Works with the Garuda. Other than that, Maybe in the future, if there's more impactful amulets, that Sweet Wing Seraph could help enable later. Who knows? Bearminator! Not only is it the best name in the mini expansion, but it's also one of the best cards in the mini expansion. This thing is absolutely nutty. Fantastic with Natur Al Machinus, and it's also a dual trait. Deal bajillion damage. This card is just insane. Laser Shell Tortoise, the card I revealed, I think it's fantastic with other cards like Bearminator or the Furies that you can get off of Rebel Against Fate. So it's not good on its own, but it's good with a partner. And finally, Myth Cleaver. I think it's just a bit too expensive. I think it could be great in Arena, but in Rotation, it's just very, very, very pricey. That is it for the mini expansion cards. Now let's talk about the buffs and man, what buffs they are. Mecha Blade Soldier is so much better now, being four cost instead of six makes it way better on 
evolve when you're going second, being able to just retake the board, makes it easier to combo with Johan, makes it easier to play after drawing a Grayson. Johan also got a pretty big buff here, way better as a payoff for destroying a bunch of Machina cards now, actually being able to trade with this, and also the fact that this now gets buffed for Regal Wildcat damage is just fantastic. I think the biggest buff out of all of these though is Ania. This new Ania is just absolutely amazing on four. It's just insane. And then Colossal Skull Lord, so much better off of Fleeting Joy, not a dud against other Machina decks. And the damage is increased from three to four. So yeah, that is my mini expansion card review. Thank you so much to my wonderful patrons. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.